Can you hear me? And now. It, it looks like I could become host. So I think we're both me right now, but you were here first, and so you're the host. Okay. Can I, I guess it, it will for sure show if I try to share the screen, right? Uh, good point. Yeah. All right. You ought to see my. Yeah, that's working. Screen. Good. I don't think I need to leave that up, do I? I can. Check. No, you can close that. So this, we're up and running here then. Yep. Good. Well. What happens when you open a PDF? If you click on one of the PDF links, uh, does it pop open? Yeah, it does, but it, it does it kind of funny. Watch. It does it this way. I don't want to save it, so I just go like that. Okay. And then, uh, on my but now you can't do full screen if you're not yeah, opening it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They can do like that. And then you just scroll it with the mouse. Yeah. Then I'll go back here. Okay. Well, as long as you don't mind uh, actively scrolling it, then and I guess that's fine. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. It. Uh, I need to see why I can't do the Adobe reader on this thing. Some reason it hiccups with me on some reason, for some like reasons. Like you can't even launch it manually. I don't think I've even got it on here. Okay, well that would explain why it doesn't work. Well, I took it off because of something. I think. Let me. Let me. And you have to jump through a couple of hoops to get it to automatically open from Chrome. And I don't remember what those hoops were off the top of my head, but we could figure that out if you want to. If we do this here, well, maybe I had it and just, you know, I guess I could do that. But it doesn't, I think I haven't jumped through the, the hoops you mentioned. Probably. Right. Because when I click on it from the browser, it doesn't do it. Now you can go back. Let's see what it does. I didn't do anything. Well, if you it save it, it in the browser. Yeah, but if you had hit the save button, what would have happened? Let's see what happens. I seem to recall there's like two things. Now you can click on it there. Always open with System Viewer, I think, is the button you wanted to hit. Do that again. Click on the uh, click on that down arrow uh, next to your initial there. This. Yeah. And then click on the uh, thing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't ask you this time. Maybe right click on it and see what it what it says. Always open with System Viewer. What's my Ad System Viewer? Adobe. You just set it up. Okay, well then I'll just let's see if it does it. Is this Adobe? Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, now what's the command? Control L? Uh, Control L. Yeah, try Control L. That, that didn't work. Oh, you're not in Adobe. You're not in Acro I'm on Read. A you're like in the. Like what's that? Thing. This looks like a browser kind of thing. You're in a different, you're in a different Adobe app. You're in like the full blown Adobe as opposed to the free Acro Read, I think. Well, let me do this. I, what I was was right here, Adobe Acrobat. Yeah, I think what Maybe you I want is to Adobe Acrobat Reader, right? Yeah. Want to click here? Well, or the one below it was the download for it. Combat reader, yeah. Not that. I think you probably want that one. Uh, right the, here, yeah. Right? Somewhere on there will be it. I want to do the.
because this is sending me to the main, the big guy. Yeah. What if I do this? I go over here and I'll put. Uh, that yeah i believe that's the one you want The application already installed. And I want to do this. Uh oh, I hate that. I didn't see the option to not do it. What if I just click this, it'll stop? Huh. Yeah, see, McAfee is the worst bit malware there is. We have the we have you now by the gonads. Yes. I'm not gonna let go. But you can do an install. Maybe you had to get a special installer to not. Or maybe there was a hidden option. Yeah, probably went too quick. Let's see. Oh, on the download page. Go back to the download page. Get.adobe.com slash reader. Get slash? Get dot oh. adobe.com slash reader. And... Probably it's taking me to the same place. On my page, I have a checkbox whether to install McAfee or not. Why don't you? More download options. Click that and see what you get. Right under that middle blue button that just scrolled off the page. It's in light gray. Hmm. I don't see a McAfee option. Do I want to do this? Uh, I think I you're going to end up disabling it, so I suppose not. I don't see any McAfee. I don't see your install button this time. Oh, good. Because it's already installed. But it said that before. Yeah. I don't want to do this. Yeah. Oh, you're in. I think you're in Acrobat as opposed to the reader. You may need to uninstall the Acrobat Pro in order to get the free reader to run. Well, I'll deal with that another time. Uh, let's try that. one last thing. Go to the uh, downloads folder in your Explorer. And right click on one of those PDFs and say, and see what the open with option gives you. Down about the middle of this pop-up. So you could do Acrobat, but I don't see the Acro Reader. What do you see? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
Let me see what I see when I do that same process. I have uh, Acrobat, uh, sorry, Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. So I've got the reader only. You may have to uninstall Acrobat and reinstall the reader in order to get to work. I'll do that another time. All right. Oh, there was one more option you could have looked at on the open with button. There's more apps. Go to choose another app. Let's see if Acrobat Reader is there. No, I think in uh, maybe that didn't really install because you already had some other yeah. Adobe program. All right. Oh, well. Well, you can do it the way you had planned. Yeah. Hey, Gary and Paul Letter here. Well, I was noticing that, but, and I don't have my tape to tape out that section of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's ugly, wasn't it? Yeah, well, it's about what I expect from you. Well, I'm glad I'm up to speed with you. I'm going to take my headphones off. I can't hear you just for just a minute. Maybe we didn't really get Paulette and little Gary since there's no sound or anything coming out, no picture. Maybe they forgot to pay their camera bill. Oh, I got to put. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. They just uh, logged in to see if they could, but didn't actually stay around. Where's my Zoom? Here it is. Uh, Uh, looks like I've I've been had here, Paul. You didn't hit the X fast enough. Oh man, I feel bad for you. That is hard to uninstall. Well, I feel cheated because they didn't even mention it. Yeah, I know. How do yeah, I they that? are the sneakiest company. How do I get that? I can't see my original uh, sound or anything like that here. Uh, you may need to uh, turn off your screen share to see the original sound button. Oh, well, where's that? That's what I, I don't see any controls. Like even if you move your mouse up to the top, you don't see any controls? Nope. Hmm. Well, you're gonna to have to figure it out for yourself. I don't know. Yeah. I can't see everything that, that you see, I don't think. Yeah, I know. Problem is, it doesn't look like a regular Zoom thing. I I really just like this Zoom stuff. You got some other way you like better? No, it's, it's, it's ubiquitous enough, everybody does it. Well, you maybe you wanted to do Teams or or Google Meetup or something like that. I don't want to change. Oh yeah, change is bad. That sounds like an old person. You figured that out. <laughs> hey, Barbara. Hey. Marty, that's an American flag you have on your shirt. It sure is. In honor of the debate. Patriotic uh, Day. 
Very good. That's what I was wondering. Well, you're dressed appropriately. My grandson gave me this shirt. He's going to the Air Force Academy, and it's got all kind of airplanes and stuff on it. Okay. I don't know how to do this, Paul. I think I'm going to drop out and come back in. All right. I think you will have to allocate a new host, which I guess will be me. Wait, maybe something else is happening here. I now see something else. Well, I'm going to figure out how to do it. I'm going to stop the meeting. Maybe switch. You're going to stop the meeting? For me. Oh. I'm having troubles here. I got to deal with. How you doing, Marty? I'm doing much better. Thank you. Good. Well, you got to be the new host. Okay. Drinking beer already. Wow. Hard day. He's been waiting all day. <laughs> I was thinking of getting wine, and then I figured I'd fall asleep, so I didn't do it. Okay. Uh, but I came in as me. Well, you may have to do this tonight. Well, that's okay. I can do it. Wasn't that a sneaky way to get you to do it? That was <laughs> like right up there with a McAfee installer kind of sneaky. Really? Yeah, only only you don't have days of work to do after this. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, you look like you're all ready for the the debate with your patriotic said. shirt on. I've got all this patriotic look going here. I figured it's an appropriate shirt for the debate. Right. I couldn't find one with a bunch of little donkeys and elephants on it. <laughs> oh, that would have been cute. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, Paul and I were messing with this ahead of time, and I was getting ready to host the meeting, and then all of a sudden, I couldn't find any of the controls. Oh, no. So, nothing to tell it to go to uh, original sound and all that, you know? So is there an icon with hey, the original sound on? Yeah, right up there. How do they do? Oh. Are they going to have... Oh, never mind. I was, I was going to make a joke, but Charlie, you can't hear it now. You look like you can hear us, Charlie. Yes, sir, I, sir, can, I can, and, and uh, I'm, I'm getting, getting feedback. feedback. You got an echo. At least I'm hearing an echo from you. Yeah. yeah I, uh, well, it's not just Charlie. It's all of us have an echo, I think. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, Marty, a second ago, sounded like you was clear. We're not hearing any echoes from anybody right now. Oh, man. Yes, one, two, three, four. Are y'all hearing echo from me? No. no, it's cleared up now. Let me, uh... Charlie, we're not hearing the echo now. Can you try your, see if it's echoing for you? I hear lots of echoing. Hi, Walter. Hello, I'm, I'm better. trying to find the oh. original sound musicians. Here it is. There. Now it's on. All right. All right. I think my echo stopped too. It's at least better than it was. I hear a little of yeah. little little auto tune. Come in. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can still hear myself. Well, with a voice like that, that's an upside, right? <laughs> I can sing in harmony. There you go. Right. I might. Am I going to? I might. Be. Yeah, I think so. I'm using my tablet. I usually use my laptop. Let's see. Well, it's possible one of us is the source of the echo. Usually, if you turn that uh, original sound thing on, it gets rid of it, doesn't it? I believe original sound turns off echo cancellation. So we should have an echo if that's true. Well, unless we're all listening through headphones or if your room is not too echoey. Yes, we Who can knows? Ask everybody to mute but you and see if we're hearing you echo. You know, if everybody mutes, we'll figure out somebody causing the echo, maybe. Okay, why don't it die? We'll mute. All right. Uh, does anybody hear an echo when I talk? I don't hear it. All right, I'll mute and then somebody else can try. Okay, I'm coming online. Marty, hello, echo. Okay. Sounds good to me. Hey, Paulette. Okay. Can you hear us? Are we okay? You sound okay to me? I hear okay. you without an echo. Okay, good. Uh, okay. Can we go back? Uh, Marty, I want you to say something while Gary and Paulette are unmuted. Okay, what would you like me to say? Something well, that echoes? I, I hear the echo. I think it may be going out through Gary and Paulette's speakers and back through their mic. Why don't y'all mute one more time there? And I'll say something there. Yeah, it seems like it's gone now. Uh, it may be picking up their mic. Yeah. Yeah. Let me turn on the echo cancellation. Um, okay. Um, it's on now. I don't know if that makes if you, So, no, Marty, okay go ahead and talk. I'm not hearing an echo. Charlie yeah. here. I'm not hearing an echo either. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Solved it. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds much better now. Y'all, all, all of you weren't here, but I had some issue where I all of a sudden my Zoom controls went away, and so now Paul is the leader of the group, so he can take it away. That's a sneaky way to get him to do the meeting, isn't it? <laughs> I was going to say, that's, that's pretty sneaky, Marty. Um, so one of the favorite songs for the week is Tom Dooley. Any volunteers to lead us through Tom Dooley? You want to do that? Okay. Uh, I, I thought we elect uh, Walter because he's got the... Oh, okay. He could do Tom the, Dooley uh, is not my song. Oh, okay. okay. I wouldn't right. recommend can, that. I'd I recommend Gary and Paula. Okay, we can do it. <laughs> Tom Dooley Hang down your head and cry Hang down your head Tom Dooley Poor boy you're bound to die I met her on the mountain And there I took her life Met her on the mountain Tomorrow, reckon where 
job. Thanks. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, was that with uh, original sound on or off? For y'all? On. It's on. But the echo cancellation is a different button? Yeah. Okay. It's If you go to the audio settings, okay. it's you have an app option to allow original sound to be turned on, and then it, two or three settings below that is the echo cancellation. All right. So My echo cancellation is turned off, and I guess that's the default setting, but I, I don't expect you to need it if you have headphones on, as I do. It's the default setting. I've, I've never turned it on before. We could tell you had headphones yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Walter, you want to do a song? Yeah, I'll do the Blue Bayou. Well, how handy. Been listening to Linda today. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to let everybody know. Do you remember two weeks ago when I had the kazoo that kept falling over? Yeah. Well, I've reinstalled. I've installed new uh, bolts and and wing nuts, and now I'm going to try it again. Hopefully, I won't have any problems. All right. Good luck.
Barbara, are you ready? Wow, did Doris Day write this song? No idea. No. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> no, no. Um, Jay Livingston and Ray Evans, whoever they are. Does anyone know who they are? So I think what I'm going to do is uh, just to kind of get myself warmed up and everything, I'm going to do the verse first, but it doesn't come up first. But I'm just going to do that first. But we can all start with when I was just a little girl. I just need, I just think for me that's a better lead in to do the, the verse. Now, Doris Day sang this in a Alfred Hitchcock movie. I don't remember which one. But in the 1950s. Does everyone know this song, K. Sarasara? Oh, yeah, we know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Never be, be. The future's not ours to see. K. Sarasara. When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. And it is surprise, surprise. It has to be, will be. The future's not ours to see. When I was just a child at school, I asked my teacher, what should I try? Should I tell pictures? Should I sing songs? This was his wise reply. And it's a fine surprise. I never will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. When I grew up and fell in love, I asked my sweetheart, was ahead. Will we have friends day after day? Here's what my sweetheart said. Now I have children of my own. They ask their mother, what will I be? Will I be handsome? Will I be rich? I tell them tenderly. Excellent choice. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I like that. Need me to mute? No. While you Ray. were singing that, Barbara, I looked up uh, the movie. It was The Man Who Knew Too Much. Too much, yeah. Oh, really? That's interesting. But it was indeed an Alfred Hitchcock movie, and she sang it on screen as a uh, I think uh, coded it. signal to her son as part <laughs> of the plot. Oh, it was a coded signal. It, I did see she was singing it to her son, and son had been kidnapped or something. Yeah. But I, and she didn't know where he was, but she was making sure he kind of got the message. Okay, thank you, Marty.
Mary Jane, you want to do a song? And which one? You're muted. I can't hear you. When death comes. All right. Also known as death comes a creeping. <laughs> I like I like the song. A cheery song. Yeah, I got this from um, Kevin. Quite, you know, I was only in the group for a year before Kevin died, but this song came up. I got the impression he liked it. I you were picking it in. It's the appropriate month. I thought you were picking it in light of the upcoming debate. <laughs> well, I actually I wanted to do a death song because October is the anniversary of my my son's death, and oh. in other years I've done a whole batch of death songs, but I thought I could always dedicate this one to Chris Christopherson, yeah. and then I've got two two Chris Christopherson songs picked out for next week in honor of his his death which don't have anything to do with death i don't think um just his usual subject matter but i couldn't get him i didn't think i could get him ready soon enough and plus i hadn't sent him in you know that's a problem the timing so i just stuck with the ones i'd already chosen <clears throat> so so here we go i bet a bunch of you know this song that's pretty easy to to play
Did y'all have any trouble? Like, did I sound like I didn't have an original sound on or anything like that? No, it sounded fine. fine. Okay, it was came through. That I'm yeah, glad. yeah, it was very clear. And I did have original sound on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks a lot. Oh, it's my turn, it looks like. All right. Can I butt in here for a second? Sure. I wanted to mention that there's going to be a book coming out. Uh, you can pre-order it. It's called, I haven't seen it. It's called uh, Texas Ukulele, The Plucky History of a Hawaiian Instrument in the Lone Star State. And uh, so there, it's, can you see? it's on Amazon now. I mean, you can pre-order it on Amazon or um, Barnes and Noble, I think it is. Who is the in. author? Do you know? Uh, a guy named Jeff Campbell. This is this is the book that might have something in it that I wrote, unless they took it out. Ah, because yeah, okay. right, okay. Because it, yeah, they, never heard of him. because it's self-destructed. You know, if you heard a big boom, that was maybe my 
my part in it self-destructing. So Jeff Campbell, um, I don't know if you can see this or not. Hold on a second. Let me make it bigger. Texas ukulele. So Jeff Campbell has written uh, maybe four of these books that are $25. He wrote um, a, one on Texas bluegrass history already. And um, I know Bob Guz was interviewed for it, and he, uh, this guy, Jeff Campbell, found uh, something I had written about our Tuesday youth group and wanted to include it. So, I mean... I'm just telling you all about it now, and then and I haven't seen it, and then I have all sorts of disclaimers, and then, you know, <laughs> when December is supposed, to come out, it's supposed to come out December 31st, so, you know, um, I don't I don't know what to expect, but he, he uh, it was vetted by somebody anyway, and hopefully, the reason I thought of it is um, I did send in Kevin you know, Kevin's picture, because it's really to honor him, what I wrote, and um, on our COVID experience. So, so when Mary Jane was saying, saying something about Kevin, I thought, well, this would be a good time for me to mention it. There is going to actually be a book on ukuleles in Texas. Cool. Well, thanks, thanks for letting us know it's coming out. Well, have to put it on of... pre-order tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to see it. Yeah, right. All right. Like Very good. Have, Thank you. Got Kevin in it. Uh, Paulette and Gary. Okay. Okie doke. Well, this is one that we've been doing in our bluegrass group and usually. Paul sings part of this, but I guess we're just going to do it ourselves tonight. Anyway. Okay, let me, let me put on my headphones. Okay. Let's see if I can hear myself. Tell me when. Uh, hold on. Y'all changed okay. the key because of the little easier chords for the uke? Or yeah. Yeah. Your yeah. Voice or what? For everybody. Uh, well, it's just easier. Yeah, I mean, C minor is more of a pain than. Yeah. And especially if we went to C sharp minor. So I left out the key chain. Okay, ready. Hold on. There's a gnat flying around. Well, just All have right. to swallow it. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, here we go.
city lawyer. She's making sure that all of the taxes are paid. I tell you now, straight up and true, well, it's just a disgrace to the trade. There's a billboard sign, says the real moonshine. Let me tell you one thing, if you will. You take the Very nice. Yeah, well done. Thank that you. was great. Thanks. <laughs> Do you all know about the uh, Bluegrass Festival and Farmer's Branch coming up? Yep. You Bluegrass people? I didn't know. No. It's an excellent, I've, I've been a number of times, it's an excellent Bluegrass Festival just outside of Dallas, if y'all are interested. Oh, yeah. It's it's in Farmer's Branch. There'll be like um, Dale McCurry and the Gibson Brothers and um, people you would have heard of maybe there. It's it last oh, yeah. week. Yeah, we heard Dale McCurry. Yeah, we heard My grandson <laughs> learning to play the guitar, and I was hoping to fire him up with bluegrass. And uh, he lives, uh, my son lives in Frisco. So I asked, oh, okay, good. I asked my grandson, let's go to the Bluegrass Festival. He said, well, I, I can't. I'm not going to be there that weekend. Oh, no. Oh, pooey. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, it's a good one if you get a chance to go. Thanks for the Thank tip. You. Yeah. yeah All right. You, you bluegrassers need to join the Central Texas Bluegrass Association. You get it in their newsletter. Oh, okay. Paulette is writing, writing it, it down, down as we speak. Daniel, are you there? I am. All right, cool. Good afternoon. Uh, this is uh, We lost a couple of musical giants, uh, songwriting giants in the past week, Chris Christofferson and uh, J.D. Southern. Uh, I'm more actually more familiar with J.D.'s work. He co-wrote or wrote a ton of hits for the Eagles back in the 70s. And uh, he passed away last week at 78, I think it was. Uh, and this is one of the songs that he wrote uh, more recently, uh, 2008, his last solo Is album. Anybody else having a hard time hearing him? A little bit. Okay. okay, let me check here. Got my original sound for musicians on. It just sounded like the audio level was not as high. Yeah, can you turn up your mic level? For somebody named, named Facilitator, they ought to have that available. Input volume is now all the way up. Is that better? Seems like. Thank you. Cool. There we are. Do you want to teach us anything about these chords? Uh, I, this is my... Uh, my wants. I fancied it up with three different versions of the F sharp minor seventh, but you don't have to do any of them. Ex uh, you can stick with the easy one that's on the middle of the second row there. That'll make the song a whole lot easier for everybody. And it goes a little like this. 
and uh, holler at me if you can't hear it, I'll start over. We'll just. Well, I like the way you bring the water with your fingers on the line. When you walk that way, it kills me. I'll be here at closing time. Is that a ring there on your finger? Just a thin and faded line. You could walk away from me, but don't do it. I'll be here at closing time. I'll be walking out, I'll be outside with the engine running. Carrying a coat and tie Looking for a place to take you I can almost hear you sigh Western sky, looking for a place to lay you down. I don't want to make you cry. I can see us walking in the future with a child of yours and mine. I can feel the sunshine on our shoulders. Till it's closing time Baby, when you walk that way It kills me I'll be here at closing time I gotta check out the E9. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's oh that's before. an easy one. <laughs> I did it up here. Seven, six, four, seven. Four. I guess I would have done, uh, let me think. One, two, two, two. Yeah, that's the one that I put on the sheet there. It sounded nicer up high, but. Uh, I put the, uh, oh no, I, I'm sorry, I changed it you up. Put the, you put I, the hard I, I, one on. I, I put the fancy one on there. Yeah, the one, two, two, two is easy. Yeah, J.D. Souther uh, wrote a lot of great songs and was also famous for dating uh, Joni Mitchell, Linda Ronstadt, and, uh, and uh, Stevie Nicks. But apparently from the lyrics in this song, he also had a fondness for waitresses. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think your voice sounds kind of like James Taylor's? Oh, Mr. Yeah. Facil but the, the, one of his two actual hit songs was a duet with James Taylor. Uh, it, it used to be Her Town. But your your voice, I think, sounds like oh. James Taylor. Oh, thank you. That's a big compliment. Thanks very much. Yeah, I don't. That's what struck me when you were singing that song anyway. I agree with you, Barbara. I think it does sound a little like James Taylor now that you mention it. Uh, Brenda, you want to sing us a song? Can you hear? She's here. She's there. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, and I'll unmute and say that again. I'll certainly attempt to do so. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, here we go. Where the road is dark and the seed is sown, where the gun is cut and the bullets come. That's a G. In the morning I go. I'll meet you there on the outdoor. Got my dead men's suit. And the spots go in. Look at my boots. And a song to sing. I got a song to sing. attempt. Uh, Walter, you want to do your other song? You have to unmute yourself. Walter, we can't hear you. You're muted. You're muted, Walter. Okay. Um, This is a song I wrote after I found a book in the library book sale that was titled Come With Me Into Babylon. And it was a biblical mess from 19-2. And uh, it was very interesting. And it was all about these horrible things that happened to somebody who goes in to see the wonders of Babylon. And so that's what this is about.
but sometimes cobras slither through the pipes into the bathrooms. So be careful before you sit down. Come with me into Babylon, where the pigeons will speak to you in words. But sometimes they will whisper the day you're going to die, so you might not want to talk to these birds. Saying that entirely too fast. Oh, oh I disagree. I like it fast. Yeah, okay, <laughs> well, thanks. But it needs to be yeah, fast. I know the original was a little slower. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Mary Jane, you ready to do uh, Otter sure. Song? Yeah.
the land tree hides in the boulder steep. I take my nose and tail and go a hundred thousand years. Sun, come follow my happy way. Wind, come walk beside me. Moon on the mountain, go with me a wondrous way. By the brandy tree, I'll hear the shepherd call for me. Call me to leave my happy way and the shining world I know. Sun on the hill, come go with me. My days have all been free. The pipes come laughing down the wind, and that's the way I go. submitted songs I believe we've been through the list yeah. why don't you do another one Paul well I've got another favorite in the list so that we didn't do so we can go back and do that now oh, yeah. y'all remember this song oh, oh yeah I get hung yeah. up on uh, it's pretty straightforward but I get hung up on it down towards the end but I can I can run us through it I think
More cowbell. <laughs> it improves almost everything. Well, what it's do you funny do? that you would. It, it's funny that you would play a Bruce Springsteen song because the uh, Johnny Cash song that I attempted to play was also played by Bruce Springsteen as a rock and roll ballad. It was very strange. I don't remember that recording. Well, I don't either, but I I did actually hear <laughs> part of it on YouTube. So, you know, I think it actually exists, unless it's just a scam. Who knows? <laughs> Well, I believe it. I'm just not a big uh, Bruce Springsteen fan, so I don't know all his recordings. I only know the ones that were on the radio. Yeah, well, you know, I uh, Bruce Springsteen was the, the first record that I collected when I was a lot younger. <laughs> Does anybody remember seeing a movie called Canadian Bacon? No. It's an, it's an old John Candy movie. Uh, where uh, he lives up on the northern border and he's trying to keep those darn Canadians from coming into the country. <laughs> <laughs> and he and Dan Aykroyd and all these Canadian actors are, are uh, doing a parody of keeping those darn Canadians up there where they belong. And he keeps singing Born in the USA, but he doesn't know the words except for Born in the USA. <laughs> It's hilarious. It's a good movie. We'll, we'll look it up. Yeah. 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 Oh, John good. Candy. Canadian bacon. Well, okay. I, I'm glad you pointed out that the actors were Canadian themselves. I wouldn't have figured yeah, that yeah. joke out. That gal from, uh, what was the movie about, uh, the series about the, um, in the bar? The, oh, God. Pierce? Anyway. It, they, they had a whole bunch of Canadian actors doing this whole thing about keeping those darn Canadians <laughs> out. I think the Canadians may start building the wall themselves. So. Keep us out. Yes. Keep us out if it gets bad. <sighs> Does somebody know an archive song they want to do? Marty, do you have a song? Hi. I I could do a song. Oh, Charlie, okay. good, excellent. Charlie, do a song. I just I didn't send in you know as usual didn't send the uh, didn't send the music in again. Shame on me. But um, this is uh, uh, we both disagree by Dave Mason. I've been away, haven't seen you in a while, how have you been? Have you changed your style and do you think that we've grown up differently? Don't seem the same, seems you've lost your feel for me. So let's leave it alone Cause we can't see eye to eye There ain't no good guy There ain't no bad guy There's only you and me And we just disagree Ooh. I didn't put my arrow back on top.
I'm going back to a place that's far away. How about you? Have you got a place to stay? Why should I care? When I'm just trying to get along, we were friends. But now it's the end of our love song. So let's leave it alone. Cause we can't see eye to eye. There ain't no good guy. There ain't no bad guy. There's only you and me and we just disagree. It's uh, no, we were. my yeah, original, yeah, saying. in D, in D, yep, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I remember that song. Mm -hmm. It's a good, good old Dave Mason tune. Yeah, I only have one album by him, but I think that's probably <laughs> I think that's on that album. <laughs> oh, I love that album, though. Yeah. Wow. The one where he's standing in front of the rocks and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it, okay. if he got it... Yeah. If, if you got it in vinyl, it was all marbled. You know, instead of black vinyl, it was all yeah, marbled. Yeah, the bowling ball. The bowling yeah, ball. Really? Yeah. I had I had that. I remember that. I haven't heard Maybe that in a, years. I'd love to hear that again. Good choice, Paul. Paulette, did you ever find your election buttons? Sorry, what? I was wondering if Paulette ever found her election buttons. She she was stressing out last week because she needed her election I, buttons. I still have not found my election buttons. I have, I do have my. The women's place is in the dome t-shirt, so that was still good, but I don't know what I did with those buttons. I wish I could find them. All right. So in honor of our great American divide, I thought we would sing a... Good song. Yeah. Uh, if you are a hippie, I apologize. I hope you won't find this too insulting. Conservative Christian, right-wing Republican, straight white American males, gay bashing, war fighting, black men, tree killing, regional leaders of sales, frat housing, keg tapping, shirt tucking, back slapping, haters of hippies like me, tree hugging.
blame conservative Christian right wing Republican straight white American males soul saving flag waving rush loving land paving personal offense to the quails quite diligently working so hard to keep the free reins of this I resemble that remark. <laughs> uh, myself as well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, heavens. Oh, well, I guess we'll still survive. Well, it's 7.45. Y'all want to wrap it up? I you... think so. I almost think we should just end it on that song because that was just so perfect. Yes. Well, we can do that. And we'll happy the trails next week. Stiff drink. Right, that sounds good. <laughs> well, Thank you, everybody. Me. Oh, yeah, and uh, remember not to drink every time JD tells a lie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, does anybody know what JD stands for? Oh, I don't know, and I don't care. <laughs> you know, the sad thing is, the sad thing is, we read his book for my book group, and. You know, and that was when he was a never trumper. Oh, oh was, well. Wow, yeah. It was yeah. way back and he actually seemed reasonable back then, but boy oh boy if Not I could anymore. if I could erase that from my memory banks I would. <laughs> well, I, I read that book too and I uh, I actually liked it at the time. Yeah. yeah. The Oracle of All Knowledge says his name is James David. James uh, David. Okay. okay. I thought it was juvenile delinquent. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I can never call some junkie dodo. <laughs> right. My brother's name is James David. Oh, oh no! Too funny. <laughs> Only oh, they well. can swap places. <laughs> well, good night, guys. All right. Good night, good night. Good, good to see everybody. Thank you. Cheers. Good night. Bye.